the direction that common core math is taking. Tell how to make 10 when adding eight plus five. You, you can't. Take two from five and add it to eight. Then add three. What? What the heck is- What? What the heck is this? It's common core. Common core? <laughs> you guys have the brains yeah. of apple cores. That's what you all have in common. <laughs> Hello, children! Or, you know, just pe people of any age that are watching. Are you back in school? I don't know if you are. I'm not, because I'm a grown man. Yeah, you don't look like one. I know, right? Well, that's not a bad thing, you know? <laughs> It'll make my career last longer. I'm here with the homie, the real one. Uh, Gloom, yeah. aka Cassie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you may re remember her from video a few months ago, you know? We are looking at some pictures and videos and whatever of teachers being dumb. And maybe some students too, but mostly teachers, okay? Because if I separate it, I can do another video, you know what I'm saying? Cassie said that she has not seen no pomegranates. No pomegranates, we've all seen that 50 million times. I haven't. Who? You're, you're serious? I'm serious. Okay, then we're gonna start with it. I feel like this is gonna give me flashbacks of all the horrible teachers I've had and I'm scared. We've all seen no pomegranates, right? Okay, Cassie, let me just show you. No pomegranates! No, 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 no pomegranates! Oh, she's no. going through something. I don't want them anywhere near here. <gasps> Am I clear? Oh! <laughs> Am I clear, you horrible children? <laughs> <laughs> Say the roll again. No pomegranates! She just Say spat on everybody in the front row. All right, how did that make you feel? <laughs> It made me feel really sad and sorry for that violated. woman. Like, she is going through it. <laughs> like, she's going through something. Yeah, that's a classic clip. Look, 19 million views. I'm shocked you haven't seen it. I m must have missed it. Okay, backstory. I'm pretty sure she was actually doing some kind of demonstration. I I'm pretty sure it's like a sociology class or something. And she was trying to describe, like, some type of communication. I don't know. But I like to just pretend everything is uh, at face value and that this teacher was really just freaking out about pomegranates. Hey, maybe she's allergic to pomegranates. You just made me feel a lot better. Yeah, it was, maybe it was a bit she was doing, hopefully, because if not, that's terrifying. If she was allergic, like deathly allergic to pomegranates, that would be kind of fair. You know, what if someone just knew that and just started throwing pomegranates at her? If I was the teacher, I'd be like, no pomegranates! <laughs> Why does it have to be the most delicious fruit? Like, why can't she be like, no, oranges? <laughs> Wait, what? I prefer oranges. Anyways, nah. enough about the pomegranates. Uh, no pomegranates. <laughs> Guy jumps and breaks hole in floor fail. You mean he he jumps and breaks a hole in the floor and it's also a fail. I, I feel like he didn't fail at jumping and breaking a hole in the floor. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> It got real so quick, like, oh. immediately. Did you hear how angry the teacher was? <laughs> he actually put a hole in the floor. <laughs> He was probably- Yo, is this a portable? This- this must be a portable, right? Cause look, there's like a door to outside. Oh, good point. Yeah, good so guy. this is a, a compromised floor. You guys have portables? I had plenty of portables, but yeah. <laughs> you know, the teacher, he was like, come on, uh, Mr. Jones, like, let me just show the class my jumps. Like, it's awesome, please. He's like, no, we're busy watching movie. Please, let me do my jumps. And then here we go. See this why I didn't tell you, put a hole in the floor. Took the glasses off his face and everything. Look at this face. He's like, well, never mind, that was a horrible idea. That's the face of regret right there. Same exercises, different right answers. <gasps> oh. What the heck? That teacher hates them. I want to know the question so I can get into this. Okay, so usually with multiple choice, like the teacher will hand out like different versions of it so kids don't cheat off each other, but this is the same copy. She marked both of these people wrong, even though they picked different answers. But is she giving them a 0.375 out of one on the question? Is one of these one? This makes no sense. She's just not treating these students equally. I'll I didn't start recording today so I could do some math problems, guys. So I'm just gonna move on. I'm moving on. My math teacher yelling LMFAO. Party rock. You may have been writing down notes. Writing down notes is a small fraction of this. What? You oh. actually have to sit and not make comments and listen. Oh gosh. Because the questions you're asking are what I have just gone 
over. She's having a meltdown. If you cannot push the button, I Oh my god. Yo, this is making me uncomfortable. This is making me She's really uncomfortable. She's having a meltdown. She is not okay. I'm not enjoying this. I am not enjoying this clip at all. Because we've been using it since the second day of class. Oh. Wow. Okay. That was really weird. She was like super elevated, but it didn't climax at like dropping a swear word or like a, an insult or anything. All things considered, she didn't let it go overboard. Oh, uh, I think that was pretty overboard. I think that her and her husband were eating breakfast in the morning and she said, honey, do you like your eggs? And the husband said, no, I don't like my eggs and I don't like you. And then she took that and took it out on the kids in the class. Oh yeah, that's the thing is like, every kid goes to school and just assumes that their teacher is on the exact same baseline level of emotion that they were the other day. Yeah, like that the teacher just like, like teaches the class and then goes into a coffin and hibernates <laughs> until the next day. Exactly. That was a yikes. I hated that clip. I did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> Boy with autism gets given the most annoying award by teacher. School board apologizes. Is that real? That can't be real. That one, zero to 100 real quick. Most annoying, it doesn't matter what's going on in their brain. You don't do that. You don't give a most annoying. I would have won that many times over and that would have hurt my self esteem. I would have punched that teacher in the face. If you get given the most annoying award, you are legally obligated. It's not that you're just legally pardoned. You are obligated to punch the person in the face. <laughs> and that is not legal advice from Robert Eddie K. I waive all responsibility for any faces that are punched. Kid beatboxes while teacher reads Dr. Seuss. That sounds like the greatest thing I've ever heard. I like that combination of words. There's always like that one kid who thinks they can beatbox really well in the class and they just do it unprovoked all the time. The the Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hey, this is hey. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Love it. B-I-N-G-O. <laughs> You dabbing? Of course. Okay. That was the perfect pick me up after hearing that teacher have a meltdown. I needed that. Yeah, that makes me feel way better. I feel like this is one of those things where it's just so captivating to the kids. They actually won't end up retaining anything she's actually saying just because they're so <laughs> amped. They're just paying attention to this. Hey, that teacher's flow is not bad. She's got some rhythm. Insane dodgeball. Yo, is this a clip of me? I was legit at dodgeball. Did you play baseball? Yeah. True. Oh, okay, that's why the baseball kids True. were terrifying. Terrifying. They broke people's legs. That's why. Now I get yeah, it. Baseball. Yeah, the baseball kids. If it was a baseball boy, I would want him on my team. Otherwise, you just know. It's yeah, the end. that was the one unit where I wasn't like picked in like the last three every day. <laughs> as soon as we did the basketball unit, guys, look at me. Do you think I'm good at basketball? <laughs> I was picked like the last three. I wasn't even that bad, but they stereotyped me. Let's see this epic kill, fam. These are the balls that hurt. These are the plastic balls. And they're harder to throw though. Like if you can't grip it, it's harder to throw. Yeah, you need big hands. Oh, there's the dude. Oh, here Watch he the comes. dude in blue. There's the, the skinny assassin. ones, they're the most deceiving. You know there's gonna be some flipty do here. Here he goes! Oh. What? Oh, and he hit him in the face! Headshot. Woo! Oh man, yo, he dead! He dead! We just witnessed a murder. Woo! Oh my gosh! Wow. See, training and getting rejected for High School Musical did have its perks, guys. You, you all made fun of me <laughs> when I didn't make it. That was pretty cool. I, I can't say I did any of that, but I was pretty quick. So, hey, if you mess with me, I, from now on, conventions, I'm bringing dodgeballs. If someone makes fun of me, they're getting pegged. I'm kidding. Well, actually, no. Would I be able to get away with that if I warn people and it's a non-lethal <laughs> dodgeball? Oh, they can be pretty lethal. Like, broken arms, broken wrists. Oh, yeah, yeah, for class. sure. For sure. I've done that to people all the time. Where Wearing a hoodie, committing a war crime. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Did your teachers hate hoodies? Um, no. I think my school was pretty, I don't want to say liberal, but like there was no dress code that was really enforced. Like really? I, I got away with, with, yeah. 
a lot of uh, a lot of hoods. In middle school, I got dress coded all the time. They discriminate against girls, 100%. Definitely. It's always the female teachers who are like, oh, the girls are all young and beautiful. I'm jealous. Let's crack down on them. Whereas the guys Ew, all look the same. Imagine saying that about a 12 year old though. Like I'd be like 12, like well, wearing a little shirt. They don't say that, but that's what they're thinking. They wish they were still young. Aw, poor things. Well, hey, it's up to them to find a healthy coping mechanism rather than insulting <laughs> the students. Robert the psychiatrist. Exactly. Yo, I could have been. I could have been. Oh, you could have been for sure. I would have talked too much though. I wouldn't have been able to listen enough. I, I would have just <laughs> done all the talking. The direction that common core math is taking. Do you know what common core is? No. It's the new math. It's the new math they're making kids do. So a lot of parents are having trouble helping their kids with homework because they don't understand common core. Isn't that interesting? Tell how to make 10 when adding eight plus five. You, you can't. Take two from five and add it to eight. Then add three. What? What the heck is... What? What the heck is this? It's common core. Common core? <laughs> you guys have the brains yeah. of apple cores. That's what you all have in common. <laughs> what the heck is this? It makes you think like a mathematician, basically. That's just a bunch of baloney. That's a bunch of malarkey. You may as well say, <laughs> the flip the five over and you get a two. <laughs> I would have literally accepted that before I'd accept this. Yeah, we'll just be the angry boomers about it. We'll be like, no, this math's wrong. That's not my math. Call me a boomer as much as you want. At least no one can pull a fast one on me when asking me to do a simple <laughs> math equation. Touche. Uh, let's watch calling teachers by their first names. That's hilarious. Phil. What the heck? What are you eating, Eric? Brad, how's the wedding planning going? Stop it! Hey, uh, Hannah, what are we doing today? Bruh. Yo. Hey, Tammy, how's oh, your deets going? How's your she didn't like today? that. You mean Mrs. Deets? <laughs> Yo, give me the deets, Mrs. Deets. Just say that instead. You have an epic opportunity to like have a cool relationship with this teacher, but you you disrespect her like this. Hey, Tammy, how's your deets going? How's your day going today? How's your deets going? Oh my gosh, you didn't even get it right. How's your deets going, Tammy? She is such a Tammy though. Like that is a Tammy. That is a essence. Tammy. She looks like she'd be good at keeping books in order, you know? She looks like she'd give really good hugs and like make really good uh, homemade Oreos. Aww, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what like the name Karen used to be to people until people ruined it. it did. To me, Karen used oh. to be like, oh, hey, it's it's okay. Like, let me make you some cookies. Real oh, I never liked that name. Oh, well, never mind then. But I met a few Karens, so that's why. True. Yeah, no, I guess it just depends on the Karens you know. I, I've known some yeah. great Karens in my life. You got a good few Karens, huh? A good few Karens in my life. Okay, let's finish <laughs> this up. Hey, Sarah, what are we working on today? Uh, you mean Miss Mill. Hey, Lauren, Ooh. what are you doing after work today? Why did you come? <laughs> hey, Michael, Why did you call me Lauren? <laughs> hey, Michael, what are your plans after school today? Play baseball. <laughs> Aww, he's like, yeah, I'll talk I'm to you. A, I'm a play baseball. If I was a teacher, I'd really want the kids to call me by my first name. Really? Yeah. Why? I mean, if they were in high school, yeah. I mean, I guess it's good to like have them have respect for authority, but I don't know. I just would want them to call them me my first name. Because it builds a, a level of trust and understanding among the students. There's not a divide between you, right? Yeah, and also nobody's ever called me like Mrs. Whatever. Everyone's always called me Cassie. Cassie Whatever. That's a cool name. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Prank. Can Woo! you imagine? if your name was Professor Prank. The original pre-tax price. <laughs> what the heck? Sorry about this. The computer stopped working. Internet connection error? What is that? <laughs> hey, you. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh my gosh. We need to get all of these out of here. All right, hold on. What? <gasps> That's so smart. Oh my gosh. This guy's on another level. Hey, you forgot one. Oh. Here. Take this one too. <laughs> no! No way! That'll get him paying attention, that's for sure. No, there's no way this can keep going deeper. One wrong move and this completely messes up. This guy's incredible. Yeah, this is crazy! He put some work into this. Now we need a man to pop this out of that YouTube poster board. Video. This is the problem right here. What if I just get rid of this? These I kids are gonna get A's because so you can't forget. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> What the heck? Matthew Weathers, you are a true genius! 
Yes! A king. An absolute king. That was insane! You only get one shot at this. You do. And he aced it. Best April Fool's joke ever. He probably put more work into that than any of his students are gonna put into his assignments over the course of that semester. <laughs> it's so true. Honestly, a lot of these teachers weren't being dumb. A lot of them were pretty smart. <laughs> nah, they were being kind of dumb sometimes. The ones freaking out? That wasn't rational. Okay, the pomegranates was a little crazy. <laughs> Teachers yes. by their first name. How uncomfortable would that be? But the last teacher may be the smartest human being the world has ever seen. Yeah, faith in humanity restored by that guy. He should be making the next Tesla or something, but instead he's inspiring these young minds. Which is not a bad thing. Yeah, no, it's 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 incredible. What a what a selfless uh, individual. Anyways, does this make you miss school, Cassie? Or? No. I mean, I miss some parts of it, but no. <laughs> you don't miss any of the teachers? You don't miss, uh, you know? No. Mm -mm. I don't miss okay. anything. I like adulthood a lot. Really? Yeah, I do. I miss seeing other humans, guys. It is, uh, is kind of lame just being an adult and living by yourself. You know what? Let's let's not. If you feel sorry for me, then just subscribe, okay? And that's how you can make me feel better. <laughs> I thought you were introverted. You're supposed to like it. Yeah, no, I love being an adult. It's awesome. No, genuinely, I, I do. I do. It's nice. But let's have the uh, existential crisis after I stop recording. Anyways, you guys, this was Cassie. Hi. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. We did a video on her channel too. In fact, it's right here, fam. You can click that one. Go click that one. But if you really just don't want to, then there's that one as well. But I suggest you check this video out because it's more it's more of this, you know? Anyways, you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Cassie, thank you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. Hey, no problem. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Peace.